Okay, now we're going to move on to a slightly different topic now. We're going to move on to the topic of combination. And let's say that we're going to form a beach volleyball team. A beach volleyball team has three members in it. And let's say that once again we have these four players, A, B, C, and D, who can be part of our team. And we want to pick three out of these four players and leave one player off. And what I want to know is how many teams can we have? So to help you in your strategizing, if I have this team here, B, C, and D, and it had another team here, D, C, and B, are these the same team or a different team? Same team. That's the same team. So you can see here the order doesn't matter, does it? No. Yeah. So now you have to incorporate that. So it's not going to be a permutation before. It's going to be a combination instead. Combination is when the order doesn't matter. So now how many different teams can there be with four players if I choose three out of the four? Okay, what do you think here? Who has not helped me today? I guess everyone has helped me. Okay, Mr. Scholson. There are going to be four. Another way of thinking about it is that I could leave A off the team, I could leave B off the team, I could leave C off the team, I could leave D off the team. So there's four possibilities. So here, what we're doing is we're doing a combination, and it's written again, N choose R. Likewise, I can also write it like this, and I can also write it like this. They're all the same. I'm just going to write it like this. And the formula is slightly different. So here you see we have that additional R factorial to help us remove the, the duplicates, because order doesn't matter here. So in our example here, if we have N being 4, 4 the number of players that are possible on the team, and we're going to pick 3, it will be like this. And now the fort on top, uh, that would be uh, 4 factorial, it's uh, 24. And then down here, 4 minus 3, that would be 1. And then uh, over here, 3 factorial, that's 6. And so this part is just 1. And 6 divided by 24 is 4. So that's how many solutions there are. See the difference, yes? OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what this has to do with computer science. I've tried in the past to teach permutations and combinations to some of my students in my various classes, and invariably it has failed because almost all the techniques that are shown on YouTube for this involve two things that are difficult for high school students to understand. One of them you can probably guess what it is. What programming technique do you think? Yes, sir. It, there's going to be some recursion here. And the recursion is going to be used to do something called backtracking, which is also hard for high school students to understand. Now, I'm going to show you a basic recursive technique. I think it's for combinations. And then I'm going to show you a non-recursive solution for doing certain permutations of strings. Permutations of strings is a common question that, are, that is asked on coding competitions, on job interviews, etc. It's a subcase of the general case of permutations we were looking at before, and I'm going to show you a way to solve that without using recursion.